And now I'm going to start the CQL shell and let's take a look. So first, let's look at the information that we have. So we have the recipient ID, recipient account time, create time, data, sender ID, and size. And again, if we wanted to, uh, if we wanted to find out, for example, all of the uh, emails that were sent before 2020, uh, we would find out that this query would error out. And so what we'll, what we'll do is we'll just create, uh, we'll create that index on this field. And now if we run this query again, we can see that this is actually a, um, uh, this is actually doing a, uh, a search uh, and comparing, uh, comparing the, the different dates. Uh, so we can also, uh, we can also see how many, uh, how many there were. And you will get this warning of if you use an aggregation query without the partition key, um, uh, this, um, uh, this is not something that you should do without that partition key. But this, again, as we're exploring the data, as we're getting to know uh, the table that we have, this shows us, um, this shows us more information about, um, about our table. Um, next, if I wanted to look up uh, information or data by account type, um, I could create uh, I could create an index on account type. And account type, if we remember, if we remember, is actually part of the partition key. Uh, so this is really cool. This means that you can now uh, you can now select information and find information even when you only have part of the partition key. Uh, without uh, the storage attached index, again, you would need to have uh, the full partition key um, in, order to, uh, in order to access that information. And then uh, just to show as well, we can also run comparisons um, on numbers. So if we create an index on size, um, we can then uh, find all of the, uh, the emails uh, between, uh, between a given size um, and, and see that, uh, see that below. And so if we take a look, for example, if we turn, if we turn on tracing, we'll do that just with tracing on, and if we run the same query, what we'll see, I mean, we'll see a lot of information um, and we'll see, uh, we'll see exactly where, uh, where the data is getting, uh, getting sent to. Uh, so you can see that um, a range request has been sent uh, to, uh, to all, um, all nodes um, uh, and is being processed across all nodes. Remember, we just have, uh, just have these three nodes, uh, but they're all performing this lookup and, uh, and reading back uh, reading back this information um, and then sending it uh, sending it back to us.